contrarian, leave it to contrarian badass Reggie Middleton. She called the housing crash. She called the collapse of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers and the crisis in the Eurozone banking system. Well, you know, not to say I'm in love with bankers, but anybody, you know, if you have a 100% win, 0% chance of losing, you, you're going to roll the dice. Why not? Uh, now, what the banks are doing is originally Wall Street, you never had big blobs, you know, before 1980, 75, because Wall Street was a partnership. So when they threw the dice, they were throwing the dice with their own money. Once they started becoming public, you sort of dies with public money. Then you have bankers trust a few blow-ups. Now, with new financial engineering leverage, you could throw the dice with shareholder money and not yours. You know, if you crap out, shareholders lose. If you win, you get your bonus. And now you can lever up with the customer's money. So you take the shareholder's money, you lever up more with customer's money, you throw the dice, you're not know, 65, 100, 120 leverage. If you succeed, as a mint yachts for everybody, start it. Okay, or better. And if you lose out, you run and say there's a bailout coming. And right. I think Trump is actually quite pro-bank, as you can see. So it's interesting to see how it's going to turn out. Um, no matter which way you look at it, the fundamentals don't add up to the rally. Now, I was looking at uh, some studies from FactSet, and FactSet shows that we're at um, another uh, all-time high in terms of share buybacks fueled by debt. So now you have record debt purchases uh, record debt purchases or share buybacks, which is ridiculous. Plus, you're buying back these shares at record highs. Now, what happens when the interest rates start to shoot up? You know, these banks are not investing in the company, not investing in business, not investing in employees. They're investing their own stock, paying significantly, significant multiples, and the multiples are getting higher and higher. Right. And that's their accounting earnings. Um, their accounting earnings the actual earnings are probably on the downfall. I'd say at least 35 to 40% of the companies that I actually take a good look at from a forensic perspective, their earnings don't match the gap at all. Accounting games is one thing, but um, you do have an increase in earnings per share, even though you have a decrease in earnings. 31 fifth of the S&P 500 has actually spent more on share buybacks than earnings generated, which is ridiculous. So I've actually bought back more stock than I've made money. But you can do that because you have record um, low interest rates, which are creeping up. So you're at the Celeste Mohicans in terms of getting free money.